And this is Mobile Home Disaster. Do I have to do everything around here? Hey, what are you guys doing? Okay. Just discussing some. Uh, yeah, yeah, great. So listen, Brandon's lady at the rec center. She was talking about how like, you know, they used to have like these big parties and the whole community would go down there and they just have this great time. I kind of promised her I'd bring that back and, you know, organize like a party to have down there and everything. Problem is, you want us to do it now? Well, yeah, I need help to like go around. I mean, we just we just go like to door to door and just oh you know, hey, come on out to the, finished, the party and you know we'll get. I mean, to look, how much, look how much work we got to do. You know what? Don't worry, I'll shoulder that load. It's fine. Just fine. take care right. of it. Yeah, right. I gotta get the rec center a new fire pit. Thankfully, I got some pool with the man himself, the god of fire, Rob. This is Rob. Hey, Rob. It's Cap. Hey, Cap. What's happening? You're still the god of fire, right? That's what they call me. Sweet. Listen, you know how I usually call you to change a family's life? Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. This is not one of those times. No, this is much simpler, actually. I just need you to save the day for an entire mobile home park. What do you think? OK. What's the drill? Just meet me at the fur house. I'll be right there. <laughs> All right, buddy. Later. Hey, everybody, can I have your attention for a minute? I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Is everybody having a good time? I talked to a lady, Nyla. She said that, you know, there used to be a lot of parties out here uh, in this area, and uh, it doesn't happen so much anymore. So we're going to light up the fire pit. Right. You guys just enjoy. Light it up! So Cap really came through. I think this community is really going to enjoy this fire pit for many years to come. Can I kiss you? Uh, of course, oh. come on. Yay! Yay! Oh. Good. I see, love being in the dark with mine's a good looking boy. See, there you go. <laughs> People, wood, and meat. That's right. I make every cowgirl's dreams come true. All right, guys. Back to work. Back to work. Let's do it. Let's do it. There you go, Paul. Oh, thank you, Cap. <laughs> Try to keep it under 60 for the first 5,000 miles. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. God. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Before, the living room looked more like Granny's attic. Now, it's a cozy space the whole family can enjoy. You like the fireplace? Yeah, I love it. My friend, the god of fire, or oh, Rob, he put that in. I couldn't believe that I would be living in this living room. It was just beautiful. The kids have a chance to start over and start a new life in a beautiful home, and I can't believe it. Everybody at Mobile Home Disasters deserves a big hug and a kiss. Love you, baby. <laughs> All right, we want to thank the Fur family for letting us into your lives. We want to thank our contractor, Stern Construction. And we want to thank you guys for watching. Tune in next time when we turn another mobile home disaster into a mobile home masterpiece. Later. Ah, don't point that at me.